Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is V2G technology. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The Kerala State Electricity Board and the Indian Institute of Technology Bombay have embarked on a collaborative project to explore the feasibility of V2G in Kerala. Now let's discuss about what is vehicle to grid. Vehicle to grid V2G technology allows EV batteries to not only charge from the grid but also discharge energy back to the grid when required. This bidirectional flow of power helps in stabilizing the grid especially during times when renewable energy generation is low such as at night by incorporating V2G EVs provide a decentralized energy storage system that can support renewable energy integration and address fluctuations in grid demand Now let's talk about global use and benefits of V2G technology Globally V2G has seen substantial adoption particularly in regions like Europe and the US in countries like the UK and the Netherlands EV owners are financially compensated for feeding excess electricity back to the grid this has been particularly beneficial during peak hours when the electricity demand often exceeds supply in addition to grid stabilization v2g can also serve as an emergency power resource during crises such as natural disasters now let's discuss about v2g technology in india current status India's electric vehicle market is growing rapidly but the integration of V2G technology remains in its infancy. The Indian power sector has been grappling with increasing electricity demand due to the growing number of EVs and charging stations. While India has adopted EV infrastructure in select cities including the installation of charging stations, the concept of V2G is still evolving. Now lastly moving on to challenges in the Indian context regulatory framework the current electricity market structure in india does not support decentralized energy solutions like v2g there is a need for regulatory reforms to allow reverse charging and establish a framework for compensating ev owners renewable energy integration india faces challenges with integrating renewable energy due to the variable nature of sources like solar and wind V2G could help mitigate the effects of these fluctuations but a more robust grid management system is required to support it EV charging behavior encouraging EV owners to charge during the day when solar energy is abundant and discharge during peak demand times requires smart charging infrastructure and electricity rate incentives which are not yet fully implemented in India Now is the time for practice question consider the following statements about V2G technology. One, V2G technology allows electric vehicles to both charge and discharge power to the grid. Two, India's electricity grid is currently not equipped to handle decentralized energy storage like V2G technology. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A, one only. B, two only. C, both one and two. D, neither one. Note to send the answer of this question in the comment section thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications